Okay. Completely understand my cousin backseat games all the time. No. Oh, hello. Look at this. Like, don't worry about it too much. It, the occasional hint and tip is really cool. And, like, I'm down for that kind of shit. It's... Uh, you know who you are in chat. And it's not you. Um... I don't know, I don't like calling people out. Sometimes sometimes I will probably have to. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's let's just grab all these things. Oh, what was the what was the game that I got rid Oh, Undertale. God. Uh there's a very specific reason why I haven't gone back for an Undertale uh genocide playthrough. The last time I tried that, chat was chat had the reins and I was just following dutifully along because I didn't know what I was doing. That sucked so much. I hated that, and that there's a very specific, that's the very specific reason why I've not touched that game since. And like, most of you guys, uh, probably don't, uh, backseat game, and like, I, this rebuke just kind of comes from a, a place of frustration of mine that's, I mean, it's been there since I've started YouTubing, but it's, you know, grown and grown as I've gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, there's nothing quite like having 80 people telling you what to do. Uh, while well, you're trying to figure out what the hell's going wrong in Undertale. God, that sucks. Uh, let's see. So which one needs the watering? I actually can't tell you. It's like one of these around here. Oh, there it is. Um. I'm like, I legitimately love Undertale, but... <laughs> that, that ruined it for me. Uh, like, the, fir the first time I played that game, I was so tired I couldn't even read chat. Like, legitimately, my eyes weren't okay with it. Which actually made the experience a hell of a lot better, because then I didn't have to worry about a thing. Okay, there we go. That must be real painful, yeah. Yep. What else does the backseat gaming? Uh, honestly, yeah, it's, it's mainly at Undertale. Anything that's, like, super popular are super demanding, will generally bring in a lot of, like, audience things. Things decision-based. Uh, there's a reason why, specifically, I don't play, like, um... There's a reason why I don't play, oh, what's it called? Like, The Walking Dead games, or Wolf Among Us, or anything like that. Uh, because you make a m mistake in one of those games, you get roasted. Hell, uh, playing them with, like, Shell isn't even fun. Because I'm always the one in control. And she's the one reaming me for making bad decisions. And it always gets super frustrating. Because it's like, I did not make a mistake there, I did everything right, and the game's just screwing me because the game is just mean. Um... And... Uh... And so, like, there's a reason why I generally don't do decision-based games. If I can avoid it, because it just, it's not fun to get the, like, community backlash for decisions I make. What else is there? I don't know. I guess it's like not quite Homeworld Deserts of Karak, but close enough. Uh, let's see. So I've got a bunch of five star cranberries, which I don't. Oh, five star cranberries. Okay, do I have. I have copper, I've got that, I've got some coal, and I got wood. What else do I need? Clay. We are making all of the kegs today. All of them. I'm going to... This is going to be Boozerton, for sure. Okay, we can't have the keg there. The cat... The cat's gonna be in the way. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'll just start making the kegs down here. But, I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, most of the time, I never run into, like, games where this is actually a legitimate problem. But every once in a while it happens. Every once in a while there's a night where people are super pushing, and I'm just like, oh, God, just leave me alone. And then I just stop paying attention to the chat. But it's always one of those where I feel like giving people a fair warning, because if I don't, then... Uh, then I'm just, I'm just gone. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll drop, actually, no, we should drop the cranberries off. They're worth more than the apple. I believe each cranberry is worth, like, 143 on its own? Yeah. 
So we'll grab all this stuff. Uh, we'll keep dropping cranberries in here. Uh, let's see, trains here, but I don't care. Let's let's go make our let's go get that instant payoff almost immediately. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's go do. Let, let's go make a bunch of money. Let's go buy, like, a, a lava sword. And... Let me guess. Nope. Birthdays don't care. 40 copper ores. I don't know if that's actually gonna work. The last time we tried this, he got pissed at me. Okay, good sir. Give me all of your money. Yeah, homesteader. I've made some cash. So now what do we do? What the fuck do you use money for at this point? Yeah, we're, at 2 o'clock we're gonna go get that lava sword. Full show! We're actually gonna get two more loads of cranberries like that. Holy crap! I'm glad I overloaded them like that. Um... We're also gonna get a bunch of wine. Like, that's not even the most valuable part of everything. That's actually the dregs. Because we're gonna get a ton of jam that we can just chuck in. Oh, this, that is satisfying shit. And yeah, we're gonna have quite the... We're gonna have quite the, uh... Farm for next year. Uh, what do we want to do now? I got a couple of geodes. We could go drop them off. Uh, yeah, actually, we've got a bunch of geodes. So let's start with the geodes. Let's get them taken care of. I'm not really sure how important it is for me to do this, but still. And we, I guess we could also buy, like, a ton of copper if I wanted to. Oh, uh, not copper. Speaking of copper, let's, um... How much iron do I have left? Or gold. Fuck it. Let's do that. Uh, because I've got a bunch of gold. I don't have much iron. So let's grab these things. We might as well at the very least make a copper bar and whatnot. We should probably also do refined quartz, seeing as I've got a bunch of that. And a bunch of coal right now. So yeah, we can buy a ton of coal and whatnot. Wow, yeah, so let's... Let's go... Let's go drop off the geodes. Then it should be 2 o'clock. Yeah, so into town. They complete the safe missions. Yeah, I did that the last time we had payday. I wasn't really sure if I should have, and then I got more money. So it didn't matter. I kind of wish I can... Wait, maybe if I can... Can I, like, shift-click these? Nope. I literally have to drag them up. That's a little... That's a little dumb. Yeah, so let's see if I can complete the museum. Or at least get some random junk here. Yeah, we're still getting stuff out of these geodes. I wonder if it prioritizes stuff I've never gotten before. That'd be kind of neat. It's probably not completely true, though. And I'm gonna go see if I can learn how to how to dwarvish. Because I know, I know we can learn dwarvish somewhere. Well, from the museum, supposedly. I think he's supposed to tell us that we know dwarvish. Unless we're missing, like, one of the scrolls and I completely missed it. But I don't think we did. Okay. Just caught the summer legendary fish. Nate named him Jocena and then sold him. <laughs> That's adorable. You have to get four scrolls. Yeah, see, I think I have all four scrolls. I, it just didn't work out. Okay, so yeah, let's let's see what we can drop off. Donate to museum. Just the obsidian? Really? Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Did I like not turn in one of the scrolls? I did. I didn't turn in dwarf scroll 1. Ha! <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so we're we're missing we're missing the most basic of dwarf scrolls. 
Okay, and that's why we can't. My bad. Okay, uh, let's go walk up. Actually, let's just drive up to the mines and go from there. Yeah, we're missing the green one. I'll keep my eye out for it. Yeah, so let's just, let's just go hang out around here for a bit. Assume this bridge will stay broken for at least a little while longer. Okay. Bam. Got it. I assume this guy has nothing for me. Yep. How close are we on things? Uh, we're still a long way away from slimes, void spirits, bats we're getting closer, skeletons we're actually pretty close to. Uh, duggies and dust sprites. Why are they called dust sprites? They should totally be called coal sprites, whatever. Lava katana. Alright, that's gonna kick some ass. Uh... How much damage does this do? 55 to 64. Yeah, that's solid. Okay. Uh, so let's go back in here. Cave's insect seems complete. Yes. It is, in fact, complete. Okay. So... Come here, upgrade tools. Kinda wish I could pull some of these things from my inventory. Or my banks, but whatever. Okay, so now we got the gold pick underway. That leaves me, that leaves me with 20,000. So what we want to do is, when the gold pick is done, uh, and we're done cleaning up the, the map a little bit more, I'll go for the steel axe and then we can get into things. Lava Katana is a lot less impressive than its name suggests. Shh! Stop ruining my dreams. My dreams are sweet and succulent, just like all of the, uh, cranberries that I just dropped off for all of that sweet, sweet money. Okay. Yeah. Do I want to get a barn? Probably? Oh yeah, that reminds me. All of these collectibles that we have no use for. Drop them off, because I have no use for them. I don't even think they're worth that much, which kind of sucks. Whatever. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just go chopping down trees for the next while. Okay, so let's let's go back to making refined quartz. We're gonna need more of that anyway. Uh, what do we need for the improved sprinklers? Iridium, oh right, battery packs. That's the limited, uh, limiting factor right now. Because I've, I've at least got a couple of iridium. I wish there was a special effect when the, uh... I wish there was a special effect when you swung the lava axe, though. That would be, like, pretty sweet. No dice, though. But yeah, farm's slowly getting cleaned up. I'm not chopping down the little saplings just because I get a little bit more, uh... You know, this gets me more wood. Whether I need it or not, up to, up to debate, but still. And this way we can finally get those stupid, uh, rocks out of my property. But we're not going to be able to get to the hidden forest or so whatever. I think you can you can visit the hidden forest during the winter, correct? I think you can. Okay, I can't deal with any of these, but that's fine. But yeah, let's just slowly eradicate all trees on this side of the property. Because come spring, we're just going to have an entire just row of a uh, regular... We're just going to have an entire row of regular sprinklers. I'm probably not going to bother with the iridium stuff that much, just because it's a pain in the ass getting batteries, and I'm probably going to save them for other stuff. Um, but, uh, we're just going to have this entire side be crops. I don't know what crops. They're just going to be crops. Uh, which I'm kind of super looking forward to. Um, and then we'll have the other side be grass. And I'll have, like, a fence going down the entire property. Uh, with a couple of gates, like one here and one elsewhere. That way my cows and my ducks and my geese and my chickens and whatnot. Actually, you can't get, get, you can't get geese in this game. In retrospect. Oh, well, whatever. I don't, I don't need no stinking geese. They dumb. Also, I should probably dig up all, uh... Please don't fall into the water. Well, at least I got some of the maple seeds. That's frustrating. Yeah, I can't get that one. So, yeah, let's, uh, hoe. 
Let's dig up whenever whenever we've got a seed, I'll dig it up. Because that way we're not wasting anything. What's down from that big pond? Uh that is where the that's where the ranch is. That's where I can buy some stuff. You have to name a duck bird catcher. What? No, my horse is bird catcher. What are you talking about? No, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna name my ducks yet. I don't know what I'm gonna name any of my other animals yet. But I know my horse is gonna be named Birdcatcher. Maybe I'll give my ducks, like, really impressive names. Like Alexander the Great. And... The Great Wall of China. Yep, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, so... I I'm gonna name all of my ducks. Uh, various impressive names that have, like, zero relevance on ductum. Because, why freaking not? Dolan. Yes, we'll have one Dolan. But I definitely want to have just, like, weirdly, weirdly over-impressive names for ducks. For no, no reason other than because I can. So you ride Birdcatcher every day. What? No. Fuck it, I'm just gonna leave him in the, uh... I, I'm just gonna leave him in the stable. God, that's disgusting. You're gross. Why would you suggest such a thing? I want nothing to do with that. There are a lot of trees. So it's like three days before we get the mine? Eh. Three, four. Actually, let's see if I can get to the other side so it won't fall. There we go. I don't actually know if this changes the falling trajectory, but I'd rather not lose anything if possible. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to any of these crops. Well, we've got just enough energy for this one. Okay, yep, we can get them all. It's a bit of a mess getting in here. There's a ton of trees. I guess this is what happens when you don't clean up, like, any of your property for quite some time. Uh, because I most definitely did not. But yeah, uh, oh, you know what? We should, uh, we should have done this beforehand in retrospect. Uh, I should have totally, uh, planted my, like, row of trees at the bottom. Uh, for the inevitable farm. Hey! Okay. Artisan goods worth 50% more or all crops grow 10% faster. Artisan goods includes wine, right? <laughs> oh man. Um yeah. Oh yeah. Like the crops growing 10% faster is super tempting. But if okay, so I could get I could get maybe one more One more... We could maybe get one more harvest out of certain things. Like, maybe. But... We're going with the one on the left. Because mainly I'm not going to be able to fit in a whole lot. The crop speed makes more money in time by far. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think I think the wine is going to be the money money maker once once I have as many of these as I can get. Remind you that Stardew Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. Oh, we have another one. Dude, dude, thank you for processing a coop upgrade. In addition to doubling the capacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, simply place an egg inside. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. Okay, so we've got our we've got our coop upgrade. So let's show some little chicken love. 
They have left a ton of eggs for me. So now they have an auto feeder. I honestly don't know how the auto feeder works. Well, I'll make sure we're lined up here. Okay. Never listens and often regrets it. I don't know, the last time with the, uh, the multi-diamond thing actually worked out pretty well. I've made thousands of dollaroos from, uh, from diamonds. Okay, so we get the pumpkins, we can drop off the yams, so we can finally get the fall, fall crops bundle done. It's also one of those where I just don't really care. The inventory's full. Really? Oh, shit! That's because I've got all these gold star things. Fuck yeah. Alright, so let's get my inventory cleared out. Then we can start dealing with some of this junk. Of which I have a lot. Okay, so we'll go here first. Drop these off. Copper. Okay, then we grab the wine. So, I got Cranberry's wine. I don't know if that's my gold star stuff. Well, whatever. Oh, we've got a pumpkin. So let's let's go back to this. Until you have 500 more crops. 10% is a lot more money in that case. 50% for artisan goods is limited by the number of kegs you have. Uh, but what if I have 500 kegs? <laughs> If I can have 500 kegs, I th think that's going to be worth it. Okay, uh, so this is this is seeds, right? Yes. I'll just drop off the mixed seeds for the time being. We probably don't have enough time anymore. Uh, oh, right. Oh, that duplicator just keeps going. Well, that's awesome. You need space for the kegs and the crops. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Drink the maple syrup. No! Ew! God! That'd be really gross. Did I use the purple mushroom yet? Yep, purple mushroom has been used. Okay. I mean, I've already got like 12. Okay. Uh, so what do we want to do? Right, mayo. Probably make some more of those at some point. Uh, let's see. So we've got wine. Now, I don't know if the wine... Okay, that is definitely not boosted wine. Honestly. So we'll just drop this off. We'll drop the diamond off. We'll drop the maple syrup off. We'll drop the je grape jelly off. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay. And then I've got... Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is actually stockpile cranberries until I need the money. Uh, because the thing is, I don't need the cash, and this way I can slowly just turn it into, um, wine and stuff at peak efficiency. Because honestly, I actually have no idea what I'm going to be using money for once I get that bar. Like, legitimately can't tell you what the plan is. Because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of, like, endgame purchasing options. Uh, there's no, like, ridiculous, like auto-feeder nonsense that just automatically feeds your chickens, like, superfood so they turn into, like, muscle men or something. That's an incredibly disturbing thought, and I kind of regret sort of not coming up with it. Whatever. Okay, um, but yeah, we're gonna need a bunch of chests so we can start dropping these things off. So why don't we just drop off the cherries here for the time being. We have got more than enough crops, so let's grab our singular yam. Uh, let's go drop some other things. For this game, cranberries are broken. Uh, actually, all berries are broken. Strawberries, cranberries, and blueberries are worth a silly amount of money. Um, because they take, like, a couple days to grow, and they can, um, you, you can just output them constantly. Uh, is, so it's like seven days to grow, 12 days to grow, no. Cranberries are seven. I think strawberries and blueberries are pretty close, too. And then every five days thereafter, you get more. It's comical how much money you can make from that. So fall crops bundle. Yeah. 
Bubble complete. Complete. Damn it. Fuck. And we get a bee house. Well, it didn't need more, but still. Uh, so it's gonna be a while before we get that, but that's fine. Uh, artisan bundle. Uh, yeah, so most of this we will com we will complete the pantry in the spring. Uh, if I've been thinking about it better... Uh, if I've been thinking about it more, we might have actually been able to get it in... For the, uh, for the winter? But it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I guess let's just go chop down trees. It's probably still gonna be a day or two before... Um, it's still gonna be a day or two before we get our pickaxe back. And then we can go back to, more or less, uh, farming the mats for an insane keg thing. Donate the white egg. It requires a large egg. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Please stop telling me what to do. Oh, hey, we got a... We got another one of these. More clay! Beautiful. Yeah, check everything else in there. I have. I know what I need. There's nothing I can get for another season or two. Or until I start fishing. Okay, a little bit of copper. Ah, uh, let's see. So there's the mayonnaise, which... Okay. Which will be worth money. And eggs. But yeah, you need large white eggs and large brown eggs. And I've already dropped off the large brown egg. So it's just a matter of large white egg at this point. Uh, so we'll do that. Honestly, I'm probably going to move the bees soon. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to dropping off resources for a second. Uh, let's see. I need the frozen tears, but I think I put them over here. There we go. I might actually be able to make the thing, come to think of it. Okay, uh, are you the one with the seeds? No, you're not the one with the seeds. There we go. Drop that off. Come over here. Nope, not the mayonnaise. Uh, refined quartz. Fiber. We'll drop off the eggplant. It's not worth much. Coal, copper. Okay, I'll just sell the eggplant and the... And the apple. They're never going to be worth the amount of money I can make from all the, uh... Other stuff. Okay, so the chickens are good. Let's go make... Uh, let's go buy a duck. Let's go buy two ducks. Because I got... I definitely have the cash for that. Ooh. We'll buy two ducks. No, we don't have space for it. We'll buy two ducks, and then I'll look into... Maybe I'll get another silo. Because I wouldn't mind getting a farm. Wait. You're the person, right? Lady. Lady, stop stop taking around in your kitchen. Lady, you're, uh, you're not... You're not microwaving anything. Lady. Shit. She has microwave pizza. We've been foiled. There is no ducks today. We will come back tomorrow. Let us go chop trees in shame. Okay. So yeah, let's let's clean up that back left side in its entirety. And um make sure we have room for that. Make sure we have room for the the barn. Cuz all I need is all I need is this little area cleaned out. There's a lot of shit here. Honestly, I should probably just cut out everything. Even the little stuff. You see the purple underwear in her house. Oh! Okay, we'll grab it tomorrow. I didn't even... I didn't even notice it there. Well... That's fine. We've got plenty of energy and plenty of time. So yeah, let's clear out this top part. And then tomorrow we'll come... We'll get the barn... Uh, started. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll chop these down. I don't want these trees growing. That's just more time and effort for later that I don't want to deal with. And honestly, I've got so much wood and so much, um, so many pine cones that there's pretty much no way we will ever run out. I also need to remember to go visit my bats. I just remembered, we've got a cave full of bats that randomly give me fruit. From any season. Hi, bats. Apparently they just collect. Well, that's cool. 
I don't think you can, so you've got to be friends to get in there. Shit. Oh, crap. We need we need my pick before I can get uh, this the rest of the way. Either that or I can make a bomb. Actually, you know what? How much is... What's required... What's required to make a bomb? Iron, coal, copper, coal. Okay! Uh, I want to see if you can blast mine trees. Did that tree me out when you axed it? Shh. Shh. Don't pay any attention to the creepy-ass genetic experiments that I may or may not be conducting on my property. That is not for your eyes. It's not for anyone's eyes. I will burn them out. And then replace them with, like... I don't know, let's say, like, tree frogs. Seems like a decent trade-off, right? Probably. I don't really know. It's probably not a good equivalency. Uh, but it's the best you're gonna get. Enjoy them tree frog eyeballs. This has become nonsense. I must be tired. It's been a long day, it's been a long week. I think that's why I'm so testy about the, you know, backseat gaming and stuff. Usually I'm pretty good about not, like, not getting cranky about it. But, uh, between last week and this week, and, like, yeah, mainly last week, I still haven't even recovered from, uh, because you just get an insane amount of new games coming out. And, uh... Like, you just don't have time to cover it all. Luckily, a couple of the games that I was, like, looking forward to aren't coming out until next month. Or the month after, so that actually gives me a lot of, uh... That actually gives me a lot of leeway. Let's see, what's with the Gandalf door? Wow, that is... You don't even realize that's a reference. So this is a Gandalf door. That's Grandpa's Shrine. Uh, for... For Grandpa Elf the Pink. I'm not entirely sure why he's pink, but you know what? We'll go with it. I was thinking just Grandpa Elf the Old and Geriatric. And possibly Undead, considering the implications. Seeing he says, wait for me on the dawn of your third year. Which is crazy! I don't even know what that means. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can blow up these trees with an explosive. Let's just blow up, like, one tree with a cherry bomb. What games are, in particular am I looking forward to? Uh, Halcyon 6... Necropolis. Those are my main two. Those are my big dealios right now that I am super stoked to see uh, released in the next couple months. So yeah, let's see if I can blast mine a couple of trees before we go to bed. Uh, I'm just gonna drop off the wild plums and the spice pr spice berries. They're not really useful for me anymore. Can I make mega bombs now? Yes. No. <laughs> okay, uh, we should have plenty of copper ore, right? No! Huh. Well, no bombs for me then. I assume I didn't save any. Nope, no bombs for me. Well, whatever. Someday. We'll test it out someday. Oops. Also, ne next uh, planting season, we're gonna fertilize the shit out of everything. Holy crap, we have a ton of wood. Okay, uh, so tomorrow we'll get up, we'll manage things, and then check and pray that our, our pickaxe is done. And then we can do some other things. I'm looking forward to next year, because we will have significantly less management. And, yeah, look at that. That cranberry wine was worth a ton of money. 